Youth to teen, teen to youth, flip-flop, don't matter. Under 18, conspiracy, could it be? Entry taking place repetitiously. Sit back, think black, in, out, out, in, like flipping flapjack, statistically. Juvenile system minority, over-representation, this is factually. Isn't this something we should touch base aggressively to eradicate behaviors and a propensity for acts unruly? But I guess this where lies the difficulty, statistically. You see, I see, we see, but is it demographically? Between you, I, and me? Proverbial to entry, holding hands with continuity? Or simply just considerations to consider when considered at the point of convenience meeting convenient, statistically? Voice unheard, but many can't escape. Unity together, change taking place. Time is today and today is time. Don't sit, stand up, disrupt system design. No more we through, let's empower the youth for they're the future of tomorrow after me and you, statistically. Voice unheard, many can't escape. Unity together, change taking place. Time is today and today is time. Don't sit, stand up, disrupt system design. No more we through, let's empower the youth for they're the future of tomorrow after me and you, statistically. statistically. Check up, mentality done. Check up, actions done. Check up, repetition done. One by one. Stab the past, future to come. Uh oh, did I disrupt the cash flow, yo? Statistically. Hello, America. My name is Tina Williams. I am a founder and director of Infrastructure 180. And Infrastructure 180 is a nonprofit organization, a 501c3 nonprofit organization that looks at building the economic infrastructure of the Pan African and African diaspora community. So essentially, what that equates to is just uh, the black community, both here in the US and abroad in the various nations. So, our first project deals with the economics of youth recidivism. Youth re so, our first project deals with the economics of youth recidivism. Recidivism indicates repeat criminal behavior. So because of the disproportionate impact that repeat criminal behavior has on the African American community, we are taking a look at that particularly in light of the economic impact not only to the African American community but to the American taxpayer as a whole. So this documentary project that we'll be putting on, stay tuned for it, is going to be interviewing a lot of different entities to include legislators, other community servants, etc. that can lend information about this particular issue of the money and the economics and related matters pertaining to youth recidivism. So we hope that you continue looking out for us as we develop this documentary project and if you would like to participate you can go to our site at infrastructure180.org or if you want to see more information about the blog and this specific project, you can go to blog.infrastructure180.org. If you want to ask any questions, you can email us at info at infrastructure180.org. We look forward to you participating with us and to completing our documentary project. Thank you.